What's happening, Nuggets? Welcome back to Kalfi Paloki. Um, we are on to day 10, uh, I think. I am unsure. Another list. The rules apply. T. Cozy spot. Potentially blankies. Make sure you're nice and chill. And let's play some Kalfi Paloki after we read the news, of course. <laughs> Jail organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend. Wait a minute, isn't that that meme of the kid running away? <laughs> to attend unsupervised. Okay. Uh, Rachel Flay. Oh, it's Rachel, right. Confirmed to perform at Coachella 2020. And uh, Gil Nyleman and Maruki Harukami to collaborate for new IP. Isn't that that person that Freya likes? Can't remember. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, good, of course. <laughs> oh, Neil. <laughs> Come very early today. Is there anything we can help you with? There's definitely something that you can do. Um, what is that, Neil? To, to, just a tick, Neil. I, I, I need to check my friends list. Alright, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be with you. Just a moment. Uh, I'm okay. Music enthusiast and father. I might have cocked this up. Oh yeah, I was going to go back and, and uh, give them the right orders. Crap, because the only ones that I, I haven't got three bars for now is Rachel and Henry. Okay, well, I'll go back and do them after I've done this out. Uh, what is it? Can we walk here? Uh, what? Why do you want to work here? Do you realise that I only have, what, seven customers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven! You're one of them, so ten. Uh, hides now away, so nine. Uh, yeah, I have nine customers, and you want to work here. Do you think that I earn enough to give you a wage? Excuse me, what? <laughs> Is it possible for us to work here? Oh, uh, well, why? 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 We have to learn something precious since I first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth, and Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our mind to learn that you need to mix between verbal and non-verbal communication here. Yes, but I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. Yeah, that was like a whole sentence that he managed. Specifically without the word breed involved. That is true, but it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earth things we have learned, we learned here. This made us think, instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with things properly. Is that a good strategy? Should we be doing this? Are we really helping the planet? Do I really want to help? It that badly. Hmm. I'm feeling generous today, so yes, I suppose that's a good enough strategy. Yes, fine, whatever. That is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? I mean, you could just order drink more drinks. That is correct. Mm, I'm not sure about this. You know, normally if you apply for a job in Arthur, you have to have a certain process before you finally get the job. It usually requires some kind of contract where you sign away your soul in order to get minimum wage and a job that you fucking hate. If you get the job at all. Oh. Let me think this over if you don't mind, and I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no. We are sorry for our spontaneity, but it has to be today! May I know why it has to be today? Is it because we've got limited days left? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Okay. Mm uh, 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 okay. Fine. Thank you. But with one condition, you won't be making any drinks. I can fuck those up myself. And once I'm done, you'll give them the cup and they will pay for the fucking drink, because they've not been doing that up until now, which, you know, no wonder I'm skin. There are things that you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. 
they might just come back, uh, might come for a drink, work, or to read something. No one has done that. Myrtle has done that. Myrtle has shown up and just sat on her phone. No one else that we've had as customers has done that. So strongly suggest you let them be. Don't ask them if they're here to breed. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. This really, uh, like, I feel as though my guy is more of a bartender than a coffee shop owner. I don't know if this is a thing, like, in, like, smaller coffee shops. I don't know. Or if it's maybe just an Americanized thing. But, you know, when I go to the, you know, the, <laughs> the coffee shop down the road, they sure just fucking held up what he talked to me about my problems. Uh, oh, whoops, I buggered that. What was like? How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy, but you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes, that's correct. That will be very hard for us. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign. When you start talking or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. Well, usually I... Yeah, I was going to say, usually an apron. I'll lend you an apron, though, uh, to help keep your suit clean. <laughs> and to differentiate you from the customers. I don't know. I, I don't think Neil needs any more differentiation than what is going on right now. Everybody's going to know that he works here. He's cute as fuck. And, I mean, look at him. You don't really... <laughs> Thank you. You don't really need more differentiation, but it'll make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthling thing to do. Uh, yeah, it is. All right, then. Are you ready for us? Do, 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 do. We are! Okay, let's start the round. So... <laughs> How is this going to affect the gameplay? <laughs> it worries me so much. <laughs> welcome! Oh, welcome! Oh, oh god, Freya, where have you been hen? Holy moly, holy wow, what the hell is happening? God, this is going to be confusing as fuck. Normally I'm just like, oh, it's me because it's pointed at me, shit. Good evening, Miss Freya! Hey, Chris, what's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight because I thought that was a good idea and I thought I was the one who brought up bad news I never thought this place would be at ground at zero for an alien invasion nah it's not like that Neil just is just helping out honest it's, it's... are we going to be ground zero for an alien invasion have I just lived there ah fuck it Anyway, <clears throat> you never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to gratify, Miss Fair. First, our mission was not about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista, not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived, and we come to the conclusion, before starting another breeding mission, we should learn more about how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place was best place to learn. And you just agreed to this? On one condition, I make the terrible drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and... communicate. He make good words with... mouth? How does he talk? That's a question for an day. Fair trade. What's in it for you then? <coughs> what? I can get something out of this. <coughs> I apologize. You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Hey, you mean? Uh, now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. No, don't mention it, please. That, that's what I want in return. Don't ever fucking mention us to anyone. <laughs> well, maybe you can be in my new story. I can write an article about your work here. Freya, don't. If I still need to write for the paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Oh, is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yeah. How did she find out? 
You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up in the elevator? Yeah. The same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift, and the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. Uh huh. The chief called me into her office, and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. Sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Uh, write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that, hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. Okay. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya, but we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house? Huh? You're allowed to do that. We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. It was a nice thing to do, Neil. Feel, feel free to just sell all of my stock that nobody is paying for. Thanks! N Neil, Neil, mate. <laughs> me old mate. Me old mucker. You're fucking cute. Stop selling my fucking stock, alright? I am broke. Do you not realise that I had to sell a kidney last night in order to keep this place fucking running for the next four days? Do you know how stressful this has been? <laughs> Anyway, that was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So, what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favourite. Our favourite? Anything. I trust you with the decision. Uh, right, okay, so you just want anything. Anything. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to think if there's anything... I'm trying to think of what actually should I try and figure out what the drinks were that I was supposed to make in the last one. And let's see, we've got so many coffees missing, we've got all the teas, we've got two green teas missing, we have none of the hot chocolates, and we've got a few of these missing. Let's, um, yeah, I'm going to try and make the hot chocolate one, so... No, wait, 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 wait. Milk, honey. Right, sweet hot chocolate. Yes, no, maybe. Milk, honey. <laughs> it's got fucking Neil's hand. Right, no, that wasn't it. So how how do I make it then? <clears throat> hot chocolate, honey, milk. <laughs> Sorry, forgot how to swallow. Um, ah, that makes more sense because that it's got stupid fucking wee hearts on it. And it's pink, so yeah, she'll love that shit. Um, and what was what was the thing he wanted? He wanted a hot chocolate with ginger in it. So it was hot chocolate, ginger, and milk, right? No, wait, we did hot chocolate, ginger, milk. It, uh, some of these drinks need to be round the wrong... Yeah, this is the problem we had last time. So, what if this one is chocolate... Milk... Ginger. Ah, uh, <coughs> It's like a full fucking churro in it. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, okay, I'm gonna serve that for her, because that'll save it in the list. Right, yep. Warm and cosy, just like a day at Barcelona. Right, okay. Now we know how to make that one. I'll need to keep the other one in mind that it's the other way around. I can just use that one as a reference, actually. Just make sure to make it in reverse order. Go chocolate. Honey, milk. There we go. Here is your drink. Especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is going to brew it? This is disgusting. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks. But today, I might have an idea why. How far along are you with novel? And to be honest, don't BS me, woman. I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines, and if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood, that sounds doable, even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. You have learned extensively about human earthlings' bodies. 
about all the races, and we do not think confusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. Uh, I'm sorry, Neil. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. <laughs> it was just... Neil, remember what we were talking about, about shutting the fuck up? Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Uh, uh, oh, we are glad to hear that then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about that term. It's very confusing. It is still very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Soon we'll all be talking in fucking emojis, so there's really no point in learning any of it. Understood. At least we know. <laughs> we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask... Ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm. I don't think I have the exact number. But full time, I should be able to write between 3 and 5,000 words per day. That's a lot. <laughs> it's actually a lot. That's raw. After that, I need to edit it, and I usually end up about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number for words of the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. Uh, I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's JRA Media. The biggest publisher around. If we could count based on the number of words, it seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judged writers by their ability to write a large number of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand, but we learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter, even for Earthlings. Yep. Earthlings seem to have fascination for things which are hard to understand. From languages to arts. Right, again. But you're not the wrong about the writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So it is still a valid parameter? Definitely. Cool! <laughs> I'm sorry. After all that, I just broke by the fact that he's just blah 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 blah. Cool! <laughs> a minute. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Oh, God. The thing is, is like, I get that there, there isn't much gameplay to this. <laughs> so I'm really just entertaining myself and recording it and putting it on the internet. But that's kind of the whole reason I started doing YouTube, was just to entertain myself. But, oh, God, Neil. Oh, I love him. I, I want. I, why can't I have a Neil? <laughs> I want a Neil. <laughs> Someone send me a Neil. <laughs> I'm Freya. La, la, la. That doesn't sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you really are learning on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Chase is good. Oh, another customer. Good evening, Miss Martha. <sighs> I wouldn't even ask, except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Hey, do you want the coffee with ginger? Uh, excuse me. Oh. But when I make coffee with ginger, it just makes... No, wait, that's tea with ginger, isn't it? She's been very specific about a little bit. So do you just want like coffee, coffee, ginger? Sure, let's go with coffee. <coughs> Ooh. A Jahe Tubruk. 
Why are we making all these weird things? Uh, what the hell is a Jabri Tabruk? Ginger presented over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup, originally from Indonesia. Have I been to Indonesia as well? No, I've no. Don't talk shit. You're all this ready! Not bad. Thanks. You're welcome! What brings you here today, Miss Major? Some people come to the coffee shop just to sit without being distracted. Uh, apparently no one in this game, but you know, normal people do. So, yeah. Oh, that definitely seems to fit as not visits here. Actually, I'm not here just to sit without being distracted. Ah? Uh, pardon us. I uh, was just training Neil on how to talk with the customers here. Although I'm not teaching him how to be subtle. Uh, that, that, that's a much more advanced course, and that'll take more than a day. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid. Uh, oh! No, we are not. We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion. If you want to blend in with us, stop using such a formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen. Which, essentially, is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve. But we will try, step by step. One small step at it for you. Might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you're not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, is it Agua? Uh, what's the occasion? No special occasion. It's just... Uh, it's not a day. Shut up. Oh, I uh, hear that sloshy sloshy slosh slosh. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm late. Ah, oh, shit. I was supposed to leave early, but oh, fuck. What is this? <laughs> oh, God. She literally has freaking Oh my god, what is happening here? I already told the barista- Oh god, fuck it out. I already told the barista to call the cops when he's- <laughs> Fuck. When he said he was going to breed here. <laughs> what? I already- So I'm just checking to make sure I read that. I already told the barista to call the cops when he said he was going to breed here. <laughs> Somebody like the character that I've developed for actually works perfectly for this bit. <laughs> what is this, Chris? Uh, Miss Asqua, please relax. I'm here. Everything's fine. Breathe. Uh, I know. Wait, that may be difficult for you. Do you breathe on land or do you just store water? Is that why you're in Seattle because it's raining? Uh, Gill for a minute, then. Ah, oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. <sighs> okay, please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, the character I made for her so perfect. <laughs> Feeling better now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really uh can I no, it doesn't move her speech well. That's some really coffee looking water that I've gave her there. Yeah, I'm sorry. It is alright, Ms. Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. Was that a joke, Neil? Did you just make a... Did, it, did Neil make the funnies? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway. So, here is the deal. Uh, excuse me, Dad. get a break? No, therefore you don't get a... Uh, fuck it, where's the apron? Get back here, you. That's really interesting, very nice of you to do that, Chris. There's nothing really, I suppose. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. After if... <laughs> <coughs> oh god, I think I'm coming down with something. Don't. Don't. We're just going to leave it as something for just now. This is so unfair, my tea goes cold so quickly. As if this place cares about business. 
Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start, but we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Coachella! <laughs> This game's really good at setting up the plot, like, five days in advance. <laughs> ah, I'm dying. <laughs> so are all the characters. What? Why are you going- where are you gonna do at Coachella? According to our research, there are many paintings happening Coachella! <laughs> oh, I cannot take any more. <laughs> <laughs> that is why we decided that, event, <laughs> that the event will be our next target. Well, <laughs> you're not wrong, but didn't you say that Baby had to be born out of love? Not some Netflix and chill shit? Yes, we noticed that. But we also noticed that we do not know a lot more about your things, including the breeding manners. That is what we will be studying in Coachella. Oh, Neil. You're just gonna go to Coachella and watch people fuck. <laughs> really? After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female earthlings. I shouldn't say this, but hell, it sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. We know! We also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. Oh good, so he gets literally like a three minute break. Well, I can work with that. So, our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Ugh, what are you two doing today? Yeah, together. Uh, it's nothing, we're just friends, you know, we're not fucking, please stop asking. She is not into tentacle porn. Uh, we just met, we want to hang out and talk about her work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, yep. These tentacles have been nowhere near her parts. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see. Uh, <coughs> I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, I never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander, so I've been asking Miss Merkel for feedback from time to time. Today I wanted to thank her directly, but not inside her directly, just directly outside in public so people wouldn't get the wrong idea. But she arrived first so I could buy her drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But... Wait. If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. I should be your not- <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Like, I clocked that as well. Like, technically it was misspelled. I'm not really, you know, I, I'm not a grammar Nazi. I fucking, I'm terrible for writing. <laughs> but <laughs> if the game is speaking, how would they know what they actually said? You're rather than you are. <laughs> oh, you are. <laughs> so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How did you even pick up on that anyway? <laughs> I read the subtitles! It's not like we're saying it's written down anywhere. <laughs> we just know. <laughs> Back to you, Aqua. So, you are done with your game. There's quite a lot of things that I need to polish and fix, but players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. Excuse me? What kind of feedback do you give people from a video game? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case, most of my advice was about the pacing, control, and UIX. I'll say no more. Uh, it must be fun to have finished work on your creation. I'm sure we removed some of the weight on my chest, but just to replace it with another weight. Not Myrtle! She was not on my chest, I promise. Please don't call my parents. <laughs> You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job, and if I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done, actually. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Freya, but please be more confident. <laughs> I've even started to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know, after our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whisper app too, and then I read some of your stuff you wrote, and they're really good, you know. Some of the stuff were better than others, but it's still an enjoyable experience to read them all. So I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. 
I know oh, why you going through. It's more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. Uh, you don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god, shit. Oh fuck, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh shit, just that. Oh, uh, Shang's caring, you know. Oh fuck. Okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I'm really sorry. I know, I said thanks already, right? Why you put so much emphasis on share? That's sarcasm, I know it. I'm totally gonna get fucking tied up tonight. <sighs> Aqua, I'm sorry if I sounded that way, but yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working on something for two years straight. Holy shit, man. Like, fucking hell. I get, I get like, bored of shit after, like, half an hour. <laughs> But no one in the office knows about it, and for those who do, don't seem to appreciate it all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yeah, I don't really work on them. Not directly. So, what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under <laughs> Friend AA, okay? Alright, and not with paper anymore anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP. Or, worst case, another MFC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? <laughs> That's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. For years! That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team's been working, making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. Out of one of all of those countless pitches, only a handful get approved for prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us in the team. The seven samurai, that's what they call us. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works for support to others when they're going through a crunch cycle. They need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in. No wonder your folks are considered the Seven Samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized... What? Usually developers get vacation time after a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Um, before I joined this company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> uh -huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. <laughs> Oh, fucking aqua peed. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you can do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow, okay? You come over mine, I'll tell you. I mean, uh, I'm not done yet. We'll take tomorrow, the day after, and another day after off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will? I'll go with you for this long weekend slash vacation. What about Max West? It's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Eh, uh, okay. But I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's so long we can't get away, right? Mmm, oh fuck, alright. I'm so excited, I might be a bit... Wow, Aqua, you look like a different person. Really? Uh, I'm sorry, shit. <laughs> Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I'm gonna pee, I mean go home now and <laughs> prepare for our getaway. Oh uh, shit. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? No, we'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Oh, yeah. I wasn't hoping you'd come to my apartment. It's fine. Okay, then. Everyone, see you next week. Okay, bye. Have fun. Take care there. May you find joy during your vacation. That's right. I, Neil, am still here. <laughs> slush, slush, slush. <coughs> ah, cool tea. Cool tea! Okay, see you folks later. Bye, ladies. <laughs> My tea is cold. Now I need to rely on water. A vacation, huh? You definitely need one for you. I know. But not now. I got this. Finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please take your time. You sure? Do you want our drink to be going on with? So in the house, of course. I definitely wouldn't say no. So 
I think. Oh, and that's the end of the day. Right. Okay. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> I... <laughs> I love Neil. <laughs> Everyone should have a Neil in their life. Why can't we all have just this? <laughs> the thing is, is like, is he as comical as I think he is? Probably not. But the combination of the daft voice and just the way he says things and acts the way he does, he's fucking perfect. Same with Aqua, like, uh, Myrtle, I, I just, uh, just kind of gave her a gravelly voice because she's an orc and stuff like that, but like, <laughs> but uh, Aqua and um, Neil, I definitely feel as though I managed to give them a, par a personality that just matches so well. <laughs> um, however, I'm going to shut up for now. That is your whack for today. So if you enjoyed the video, then bar the subscribe button, like the video, dump a comment in the section down below, all that jazz, and I will catch you nuggets in the next one. Alright? Cheerio, bye.